Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Robot Spirits or Robot Damashi the Shining Gundam. And this is amazing. Actually, I really like the design of the Shining Gundam more than a God Gundam, but that's slowly changing over the years. I'm starting to like more a God Gundam now. But before, the one thing I like about the Shining Gundam is when you open up those panels, it seems a little bit more yeah, it seems like this should have been the upgraded version of the God Gundam. <laughs> but I guess the God Gundam is, he's already super, uh, or in terms of, yeah, he's already super. He doesn't have to open up or anything. Anyways, we got the Shining Gundam here. It looks pretty awesome. Got mine from Tatsu Hobby. He probably still have some in stock. I'll provide the link down below. And this is amazing. So, so far, we already have the God Gundam. The Master Gundam and the Shining Gundam. Wonder if they're gonna have the Rising Gundam or the other ones, Spiegel. I can't remember if they already released those. <laughs> I got into Robot Damashi a bit late. Anyways, this is awesome. Let's take a look inside. All right, we got the Shining Gundam here. He looks amazing. But before we get started, there's a few things that we need to connect, and I did revert him back to normal mode as opposed to super mode you'll see on or out of the box. So first, we're gonna connect this simple clip joint or clip connector. I actually tried using God Gundams and for some weird reason, they didn't use the same connection. So you cannot swap them, that's a little too loose. I don't know why they didn't do that. It'll be a cool thing to do. <laughs> Go figure. Anyways, uh, we also have two katana hilts or his beam saber. One is uh, longer than the other it goes on the side here there's a little uh, indentation there just kind of to from my understanding just kind of hold it in place there we go and yeah this is just awesome we got the nice metallic uh, paint on the core right there metallic green also the same as the eyes really cool had that, that nice gold on the fence on this on the back here but they didn't paint the vivid it's a yellow at first I kind of find it kind of off why not just paint the whole all the yellows gold it would be cool but you know, just going with the the standards of a Gundam or the, the normal Gundam color scheme you gotta have that yellow and it's kind of slowly growing on to me <laughs> then you got that nice gold inside here for his forearms really cool overall this it's really nice the, the way they made the shining gundam they made double and kasha proud <laughs> right so we think we got the for the most part uh his accessories with the beam saber hilts and the backpack let's go over articulation so first off we have the head here you can rotate this this is swappable and there's also an option uh, let's see if I can uh, demonstrate that you can pop off the face here and switch it out with the other uh, or actually the other head you have another full head here with the fins uh, spread out now the only thing I can see point of a uh, yeah you can remove this also the front part is if you want to do a mid transformation look Although I kind of still find it a little silly, but you, you do have that option, which is great. And you have the shoulder here. I think it's on a swivel on top. This allows you for more dynamic poses. You get that nice uh, shoulder swivel also. And elbow bend. Yep, quite nice. Then on the forearm here, uh, it's just connect on the rectangular peg. Actually, I'm gonna go over that in a bit. Cool gimmick, and you also have a swivel here in in the, on the side here. Some uh, little details there. It's actually nice that they allow you to do that because now you can do this. I don't think God Gundam has that ability to rotate this uh, forearm guard. So that's nice that they, they added that and you can move that. Then you have the wrist joint. It's the same one that you can actually extend the joint. 
you have a little bit of a mid torso articulation here as well as the waist side skirts are on a bull joint front skirts on that peg bull joint on the back articulation wise on the waist fairly good you do have the swivel there as well as the swivel on me which started from god gundam and then you get the knee bend then you have the shin guards here that you can uh, rotate and the ball joint right on top and you have the toe articulation as well as the swivel which is great for more dynamic poses really awesome and I think that's about it for most I actually like this one there is a stand a connection underneath you can you can do this here or maybe even here for the core fighter uh, but I'll probably place it here and that's for later all right I think that's pretty much covers for the articulation and let's go over the different uh, pairs of hands he has so we already have the closed fist you're also gonna have the dynamic pose with this and uh, this have a slit on the back which allows you to fold his uh, hand up which is great same thing uh, with this dynamic pose hands and last but not least actually there's two more pairs you got one for holding the katanas or his beam saber and last but not least you have the shining fingers which is amazing all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the katanas kind of just want to demonstrate that one so we just go ahead and pop this out so be careful on that joint it does extend and when you're putting the new one in make sure it's all the way in else it might tend to bend and break not good there we go it may even help to just pop this out so it's out of the way there we go we got the katanas ready just pop it out the side skirt here actually it comes with uh, two different uh, length beam saber effect parts okay, I have to stand So likewise, see with the handle, you can have two different lengths, and kind of obvious which one goes to where. <laughs> and now we're just gonna mount it here. And another on here. There we go really awesome there we go or actually more dynamic is when he does the cross thing there we go yeah really nice uh, effect and it's not your standard uh, beam saber effect part it actually kind of has that serration or that's kind of hard to explain what it is but this cool gimmick with the beam saber and there's a little bit of mist of silver on top so when the light shines on it, it kind of glows which is really good and last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this out again I'm just gonna put back the closed fist for the left uh, hand push this back in there we go and let me dem demonstrate the shining fingers There we go. So likewise, with that uh, a slit right there, he's able to do this, which is great. Shining finger, <laughs> really cool. All right, so with that done, let's go ahead with the super mode transformation or the hyper mode. All right for the transformation, well, let's first start with the head. Um, as you already 
zine, we're just going to pop this off and replace it with the alternate head. There we go. Now for the shoulders, now this is interesting the way they've uh, done this. So we're going to pop this out. There we go. And it's just a peg connection right there. See that rectangular uh, connection. And you'll push this up. Uh, actually, yep. And this is a really nice gold. And we're going to pop this back in. Now normally, from what I've seen on other figures or mold kits, it kind of just slides up. But this one, it's more secure with that thing up there. And I kind of like this. Because I think one of the, my problems before, I can't remember if it was a mole kit or a figure. It keeps sliding down. It's a hinge. But this one, it'll, it'll stay there. It's more secure. Likewise, it's going to be the same for the forearm. I'm just going to pop this out. You're going to have that a different peg, which is raised. There we go. And that's really nice details there. Can't remember if that helps him uh, to punch. There's stressors in there, possibly. It's uh, it's rocket punch, or volleys of uh, punch. <laughs> and last but not the least, or uh, there's no more. I keep saying last. <laughs> there's a couple more. I'm too excited. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this out. Same thing on this other side here. And uh, it's gonna be a part swapping. Sometimes part swapping is good, it makes things more secure as opposed to it's already incorporated in the figure. But likewise, it has its ups and downs. I, I actually don't mind either way, as long as you're able to pull it off. There we go, and you're also able to extend this out. All right. Not sure why extending the feet helps, maybe more uh, secure footing. <laughs> But from my understanding, he's shifting all these panels here to it's kind of like his cooling effect since it's generating a lot of power. And it's powered by motion. <laughs> there we go. So this is really nice. Alright, then uh, I think that pretty much covers for uh, all of them. <laughs> In terms of accessories, this is really nice. A really cool figure. Yep. All right then, let's conclude the review. All right, I have the on the Tamashi Trident base. I think this is the they call it smoke or black, the clear black. Really nice, and I would recommend uh, trying out that uh, Trident base. It's great, especially for posing either three or five. There's actually a couple more ports here, and yeah, there's uh, three more here. You can even have six. Yep, and <laughs> you know, just a little bit more dynamic opposed to having all of them spread apart. And I think that's a cool way to display your figures. Alright, and I think that's about it for the review. Again, I got my from Tatsu Hobby. This is an amazing figure. I would highly recommend getting the G Fighters uh, from the G Gundam series. Really cool. If I have to choose between Shiny and God Gundam, that's really hard because... There are a few aspects of the G Gundam that I like, or God Gundam more than the Shining and vice versa. But yeah, definitely I would pick both of them. They're really cool figures. And I think that's about it for the review. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's about it. So until then, this is Beads. Thanks for watching.